Hi, it's Tess and I'm here today to film a small haul. The first thing I wanted to show you was my Inspire Bible that I just got. This is for creative journaling. I ordered it back in April, but it came just this past week. And I've been waiting to film a haul before I used it. It's just this gorgeous Bible. Now, it, it isn't a hard cover, but it's a very sturdy cover. And the idea is, this is great for beginners because... If you don't know where to start, you just color this in and add whatever you want. Um, just kind of give you a boost into the world of creative journaling, which I need because I have no idea where to start. It's really pretty. And then on the back, there is just um, blank pages in case it bleeds through or whatever. I think you can minim minimalize that, but I don't know how. <laughs> I think you can prep your pages or something. Who knows? I'll watch a hundred YouTube videos, be and I have already, to try and get into um, the world of creative Bible journaling. My husband's like, that's a really nice sleeve that Bible came in. It's like the pages don't want to open to the... And I'm like, he's like, you'll have to keep that Bible in there. And I'm like, yeah, after I add all the clips and the tabs and stuff, that Bible's not going to fit back in that sleeve. <laughs> right? Right. So pretty. So, that is the Inspire Bible for Creative Journaling. And then to go along with that, on Amazon I ordered these watercolored pencils. The brand is Krulox. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's the brand. Here's all the colors that comes with it. I almost dropped it. I have not even opened these yet. I've never used watercolor pencils. So it's going to be quite the learning experience. <laughs> I'm not really good with art. I like, I'm very creative and I'm good with like paper and stuff, but when it comes to drawing or painting, unless it's like painting a wall, <laughs> I'm not very good. We'll see how it goes. Okay. And then my friend Patty noticed that Paper Pineapple is having a dollar sale a little while ago, and she was ordering, and I've never ordered from there, so I decided to place an order, too. So the first thing I got were these two pages of half boxes. They're gray, yellow, and black. Gray, yellow, and... Not black. Gray, yellow, and white, I guess. It's not really black. It's dark gray. <laughs> so it's really cute. And then I got the Lazy Sloths. Those are so cute. Filming slates and video cameras. Grocery bags. And these cute little bows. Then I ordered from Bella Exo Planning. I've never purchased from her either. She was also having a dollar sale. I tried to order again this weekend for her dollar sale, but by the time I got online to order, a lot of the things I think were gone. So that's her sampler. Then we got YouTube, play buttons, Instagram, laundry baskets, they're so cute, trash cans, and some brown paper bags, which you could use for packing your lunch or groceries or whatever you would like. Then my order from Blank Slate Stickers came. I often order from Fab Friday because she'll have like four kits for $5 each. And I have been ordering on the $2 Tuesday where you get a two-page mini kit for $2 each. So definitely recommend her shop. Look how pretty these colors are. They're so um, saturated with color. Very pretty stickers. There's the ombre heart checklist and the quarter appointment boxes. Full boxes and scallops. And your checklist and washi. And your top three boxes. Very, very cute. And then I have a kit from Hurricane Randy. She was raising money for a friend's family who lost their daughter when she was <sighs> tragically killed at work, which is, is just heartbreaking. You know, to go to work and then, oh, can't even talk about it. But she created this beautiful kit to raise money for her family. And it's just so pretty. I just wanted to say a little bit while I'm on here 
that there have been some very, very, very tragic things that has happened lately. <laughs> and please, please do everything you can to be a light in this world, to show compassion and love and caring and understanding for your fellow human being. We're all on this earth struggling to get through your life. And we're here to just be nice to each other, be kind to each other and love each other and let everybody know that you feel that way. Be a bright beacon of light in the world and not a dark hole because when you're a dark person and you have a dark personality, you just are like a vortex and you suck everything good in this world down with you. And that is horrible. So please do everything you can to just show love to one another. And just because other people don't look like they have it bad or don't look like they're having a bad day, believe me, I know firsthand that just because it doesn't look like somebody is struggling on the outside, they may be really struggling on the inside. And even though you can't see it, don't take it upon yourself to say something mean or hurtful to somebody when you have no, you don't know anything about them. Don't be judgy and cruel and mean to another person. I mean, you wouldn't want them to be that way to you. So please, don't do that to someone else. Just try to show kindness and love and be a light and happy and what you put out in the universe, you'll get back. So just try to be kind to your fellow human being. And also, turn the damn media off. There, you know, it's gotten to the place in this world where all they do is pick one thing that's happened and just show it consistently and day in and day out and just this one thing and are harping on it and going on and on. And how is that? Ask yourself how that's making you feel. It's not making you feel good. And there's tragic things that's happened for hundreds of thousands of years in this world, but we didn't have the media to like push it on you and make you feel this way. And, and it's almost like it's overhyped or overdone or it's too much. So turn the TV, the news, the media off and step away from that and get outside and get with your friends or your family and, and enjoy your life. Because even though it's good to know what's going on around you, sometimes you need to take a step back and a break from that because absorbing all that like a sponge constantly is not doing you any favors. So please, just be kind to your fellow human beings and do the best you can. And I'm done with my little thing. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.